to Easy 3 Sport Production. I'm your host, Suttles, and today we'll be reviewing the game between the New York Football Giants and the Philadelphia Eagles. Let's get it. Finally, the Giants has beaten the Philadelphia Eagles. It's been four years, eight games that the Eagles has bullied us, that the Eagles has beaten us and that the Eagles have straight disrespected the Giants, but no more, no more. We stood up to them today. We put the beat down on them. We laid the smack down on their Rudy Poo candy asses. That's what we did to them today. 27-17, 27-17. They have proven that they can beat the damn Eagles. 27 17 i loved it i loved it i loved the game this is the most complete game the new york giants has played all season this is the most complete game the defense was on point the offense was on point the special teams was on point everybody was on point everybody did their job and they came out and we beat the damn eagle daniel jones he gets an a plus he gets an a plus he throws for 244 yards 21 of 28 so around 75 percent and he also ran for 64 yards and a touchdown and what was real good about that touchdown if you didn't notice high and tight high and tight old tiki barber type style high and tight he ain't fumbling the offensive line was amazing they was getting the push on the defensive line we ended up having over 100 rushing yards in the first half we ended up with around 150 and Wayne Gallman also punched the ball in for two touchdowns the offensive line was great they gave up three sacks two of them was really coverage sacks Daniel Jones had absolutely nowhere to to throw the ball so he had to hold on to the ball but he just took the sack but overall the offensive line played great the wide receivers they got open Daniel Jones made the plays when they needed to be made. He made the plays. He went deep to Golden Tate. He, he went deep to Shepard. He, he went deep to Slayton. When it needed to be done, Daniel Jones came through. And that's what we need from him. To play clean football. Don't put the ball in harm's way. And make big plays when need be. It was great. I loved it. I just, I just loved it. I'm so hyped. I just loved it the defense the defense came out there and they did their thing they was confusing Carlson Wentz all night he dropped back 41 times we pressured him and hit him 13 times while actually sacking him three times so he was pressured on 32 percent of his passes that's what we like to see that's what we like to see everything's trending up everything is trending up for the new york football giant everything and everybody is out here like oh you're only three and seven that doesn't mean anything all those naysayers on the outside even the naysayers in giants nation like oh we're only three and seven but y'all don't understand the feeling this game brought out you don't understand what we felt so let me break it down to you Imagine for four years you're getting bullied. Imagine for four years you're getting stuffed in lockers, you're getting tripped on your way to class, you're getting your lunch money taken, and you're also getting your lunch taken from the same bully. Imagine that for four years. Four years of being bullied. And then just one day, while the bully's over there talking to his friends, you drop your bags, you run over to him, and you punch him right in the mouth. He falls to the ground, you start kicking him, you start jumping on him, punching him, until a teacher comes and brings you off. The feeling that you have right then and there, you just punch the bully in the mouth. And then the next day, when you walk by that same bully talking to the same friends, he just looks at you, and you look at him and you keep walking and you go throughout your day you don't get tripped going to class you don't get stuffed in lockers you get to eat your lunch in peace that's how it feels that's why giants nation is so happy a three and 17 but you see that we're trending up while everybody else in the division is trending down the eagles Dougie P is making some bad choices. He's making some bad play calls. Carson Wentz is not looking good. The Dallas Cowboys, they don't even got a quarterback. They got all that talent, no quarterback. Looks terrible. 
Washington. They got checked down Alex being their the starting quarterback. That's an amazing story, but he ain't going to get you nowhere. The Giants is trending upwards, and we're ready to take what's rightfully ours. I don't care what our record is, but what I do know is that we're going to be competing for this division hands down. We are playing meaningful football in the month of November, and that's all we can really ask for. It's our time. It's truly our time. Now, we got a bye week this week, and then we got to come back and play Cincinnati. Joe Burrow and that offense, they're out there looking pretty good. But overall, the Giants is trending upward, and there's nothing nobody can do about it. Each and every week, we're getting better and better and better and better. And we're all putting it together now. We're a young team, but we're putting it together. Now, as for the game... There's really nothing to be said about the game. Everybody's seen it. We jumped out to a 14-3 lead. They came roaring back. They scored a touchdown, and then they scored a two-point conversion, 14-11. Then we went right back down, and we scored a touchdown, 21-11. And then this is the thing that I can, that I know Philly fans are going crazy over is Doug Peterson's play calling because you score a touchdown, and you make it, 21 to 17 now if you kick the point after you're gonna be only down by three but i don't know what he was thinking i guess he was thinking for the future that hey if we can hold them to 21 then if we score this and then we can win with a field goal because he goes for two and he goes for two and we stop them so once we stop them it's still 21 17 so now that messes everything up because now we come down and we kick a field goal so now we're up by seven. And now towards the end of the game, it's, it was time for some Carson magic. And it didn't happen. We were confusing him all night. Patrick Graham did a great job scheming this up. And we held him. We held him down. Then we got the ball. We kicked another field goal. And it was still time for some Carson magic. It was still time for him to do it. But he didn't get it. Didn't get it. <coughs> so the Giants end up with the win. 27-17. Giants trending up. NFC least trending downward we're gonna see what will happen but celebrate giants nation we got a bye week soak it in breathe in the fresh air food is gonna taste better drinks are gonna feel way better the air is way more crisp because that's victory three and seven but we're only a half game out first place let's see what the future hold and that has been a subtles review from easy three sport production don't forget to like subscribe leave your thoughts in the comment section until next time i'm out